Thanks, Dave. Well, seconds count when it comes to tracking severe weather. Miles also matter, especially when considering the distance of Doppler radar from the storm zone. We saw it firsthand Saturday night while tracking our tornado warning in the low country. And new tonight, storm tracker meteorologist Charison Clark is finding out which areas could be impacted by Doppler limitations. Charison? Yeah, we have three radars that cover the low country, one in Wilmington, North Carolina, another in Columbia, and a third in Jasper County, which can be a challenge when trying to track storms further farther away. Over the weekend, there was a tornado warning for parts of Berkeley, Williamsburg and Georgetown counties. Meteorologists at the National Weather Service in Charleston tell me radar picked up some broad rotation near St. Stephen, but there was nothing too alarming. While St. Stephen is not in what is called a dead zone or an area that cannot be picked up by radar, but coverage is a little more spotty. I spoke with warning coordination meteorologist Ron Morales. He says the challenges go up the farther away from radar location you go. But what we can see is the parent circulation up higher, if there is one, that we can infer what's going on underneath. And that's what we do. We take a lot of training, take a lot of techniques, and we have a lot of algorithms, computer things that run on the radar to help us with that, plus experience. Now, coming up tonight at 7, the St. Stephen area is a notorious spot for quick spin ups. I'll tell you what environmental conditions make that area conducive for that rotation. Working for you live in the studio, Cherson Clark, News 4.